And today I'm going to share with you how I cut a pomegranate. Because a lot of people don't eat pomegranates because they don't know how to get in there. And some people it takes them 35 minutes to cut a pomegranate and that's not very fun. So I'm going to show you a method that I think really works. And it actually also minimizes the chance of making your kitchen a mess. So first what you want to do is cut on either side. You're going to cut through and on both sides you can see that pomegranates in there and we're going to cut through some of the seeds there um, and then on the other side and then what you want to do is kind of score it a few times uh, maybe six times or four times all the way around I usually do six and once we've done that this is the special trick you want to get a bowl and you want it to be wide enough that you can get your hands in there and deep enough that the pomegranate can be submerged. And then you're just going to fill that with water. See, isn't this fun? And, okay. And then what we're going to do is put that over, uh, put the pomegranate in there face face down, so the part where the seeds are exposed are down. And then what you want to do is, while it's in the water, is when you want to break it apart. So you're just going to break it apart a little bit in there into two. And you can see how beautiful they look in there. And then you're just going to break off some pieces. I usually do a quarter at a time. Oops. And just go in there with each one. And then you're just going to open it up and pu push the seeds off of the flesh underneath in the water. So this way, it's there's no chance that you're going to get any uh, squirting happening anywhere else in the kitchen because these things do have a trajectory and they will fly. And also you want to make sure, you know, you could wear a little darker color of clothing just in case, but for the most part, this is a pretty foolproof system that you're not going to get things everywhere. And as you can see, they just pop off pretty easily. This is our last little section here. And just a few more to go. And it's almost going to be time to eat some pomegranates. And pomegranates have a lot of um, really great nutrients in it. Vitamin C, uh, potassium, really rich in antioxidants. So it's a really good idea to incorporate pomegranates into your life. Okay, so that's pretty much everything. This is the flesh part that you don't want. Now what's happened here, because you've done it in the bowl with water, the seeds have gone to the bottom and these um, the little bit of skin and flesh um, pulp that uh, they were in kind of floats to the top. So it's just easy right now to just pull all those off and you could use a strainer if you want or a, a spoon um, to do that but it comes away pretty quickly and then what you want to do is take your uh, strainer and you're just going to pour it all out. Now look, look at how beautiful that is. Um, that pomegranate was what about three and a half inches and probably yields about uh, one and a half cups of pomegranate seeds. Woo! Awesome. Time to eat some pomegranates. Whoa. Making some noise here in the kitchen. All right. So I have my friend here and he wants a bowl of pomegranates. So I'm just going to make that for him too. But I want to show you what I like to do with pomegranates, which is in the morning. I like to eat kashi cereal. It's really good. I have the kind that's vegan without the honey in it because I'm vegan. And I like to get a whole bowl going in there, put about a cup or so there, and then because I'm crazy for pomegranates, I'm probably going to put about the same amount of pomegranates in there as I have cereal. Now that's a ratio thing that you want to probably play with and decide what you like. Um, I mean, for me, it's 50-50 because I love the pomegranates. Some people want 60% want cereal and 40% pomegranates, but it's really all up to you. Another thing I do if I have some almond milk around, I'll put that in there. Um, so that's another way to vary it up.